metaverse racing game? Well, today I'm super excited to be talking about this next project called Race Kingdom and their token, the A to Z token. Uh, I'm going to talk about how it's going to be listed on Gate.io really soon, uh, coming in the next couple of days. I'm going to talk about all the cool things that you can do with these NFTs that are camels that you use to race. Uh, they have this whole entire customization system, which I think uh, is awesome. Uh, but I do think this is a strong project. But as always, make sure you're doing research, figure out if this project is for you. And if this is interesting, definitely join the community and see what people are talking about. So at the peak of this, this reached over 1,300 um, percent of what it uh, the token started at. So that's awesome. Uh, and even though it's uh, crypto winter, crypto is down, I think that there's a lot of possibilities for this project to grow. Uh, so we'll talk about that. Uh, like I said, Gate.io, it has a link up top. Uh, it's coming out October 11th, October 12th. So it's a great opportunity. Uh, and I think it's a good time to actually jump in on this project if you guys are interested in racing. Uh, Learning and having fun uh, along the way. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about some of the NFTs uh, as well. Kind of really cool out there with their camels, which is, makes it really project stand out. Uh, but let's talk about this. It's not your typical play to earn project. I do think uh, there's a lot of excitement around this. So four types, four rarities, over 3,000 unique Genesis camels. Uh, it's customized to win. So some of the things that, uh, things like stats, achievements are all uh, encoded into the metadata of NFT. So you could keep track of that. So that's really cool. Uh, there's different um, aspects that we'll talk about uh, about this project that go into the NFT, which really makes these camels unique. So that's top speed, acceleration, grip, and arrow. Uh, we'll kind of go over that in a second. But I did want to spend a little time talking about the team behind this, their docs, they're showing who they are, tons of experience in crypto, blockchain, make successful companies. So that's always great to see. Uh, but uh, I do think that this is really exciting and I'm going to show you guys uh, as much as I can today. Here's some screen shots of showing you guys uh, the race. They do have some videos uh, for you guys to check out. They look really cool uh, and I think it's awesome that they have this whole entire uh, camo racing aspect to it. And of course, on top of that, they have a token with a lot of utility. It's a deflationary token, uh, which is definitely awesome. Uh, I do think that this is more than just play to win. They say that it's play to enjoy. Uh, they want to make something that's fun for everyone, fun for new people who just want to get into a game or has a level of depth and you'll learn about that in a second uh, when, you know, that's going to keep people engaged for the long run, which is definitely great. They have skill based uh, component to it to make sure that you guys really feel like uh, you're really uh, uh, having fun competing against others, friends and family, or random people online. So I, I think of like uh, kind of like an esports uh, component to it. Uh, definitely, this is going to take off and really, uh, really get a lot of people excited about it. So again, if you guys want to read about the gameplay, you guys can. They have an NFT marketplace uh, with the different camels on there. The camels will be categorized for classes one to five. Class ones being the highest and five being the lowest. Uh, they have camel building, uh, which they kind of talk a little bit about that here, but they actually have a specific page where you could kind of learn uh, more about that. Uh, some of the highlights is obviously it has a rarity, ultra rare, 5% rare, 50% uncommon, 30%. Common 50%. Uh, they have different uh, elemental forces that go along with them. Graviton, uh, which is energy from the sun. Invader, which is known as like the military. Aerojack, uh, which is like the, they said this is from, they're gathering their energy from the wind, uh, which is cool. Uh, and Dino Amp, which is uh, kind of the water oceans uh, components. Uh, and then they have the different categories, which kind of makes up my, makes your camel really different. Top speed, acceleration, grip, and arrow. So again, really has that component where you guys can get into it uh, for if you're new to uh, this type of stuff or level of depth, to keep you guys uh, engaged for the long run. But if you guys want to learn more about this, again, meta-based NFT game, uh, ultra rare NFT creature, with different attributes and functions. Uh, so I think that's really cool. Uh, this is a global project, which I think is uh, definitely things that you want to see, especially uh, if you want a project to grow. Uh, they have a global community. They have a listed Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, Russia, Middle East, Latin America, literally everywhere. They also have a DAO system that allow players to really feel like they're part of the community and really take uh, your uh, feedback into account for what's going on with the future. So I think that's really cool. Um, Again, there's a lot of opportunity if you think about the market today that even though uh, it's down, people are still investing in projects where they feel like uh, it has a lot of potential. And I think a lot of people are really thinking about games uh, that are going to keep people's attention for a long run. And I, like I said, I think Race Kingdom is definitely going to have that aspect. 
Uh, here's more information about it. They have the camel racing, uh, which is definitely unique. They'll be divided into different uh, classes based on the performance. Uh, they'll have different events, uh, race progress. Uh, obviously, if you think about uh, how people love playing games and racing and think about how people uh, love watching like horse races, etc., I do think that there's a lot of uh, opportunity here. Uh, they have this like package of aspects. Uh, they have the updates and upgrades, scalability, adaptability, availability, scarcity, purity, and rarity of the camel. So they really have a lot of ideas on making this, you know, really engaging. Uh, of course, uh, the different game mechanics, which I, like I said, it's really uh, in-depth. So creating avatars, the different camels, the fuel stamina, upgrading maintenance. There's going to be daily races to keep you guys engaged. Uh, and then cyber stable as well. If you guys want to learn more about this, they do have this uh, white paper that kind of walks through um, all these different things. They kind of show the different things on the roadmap. Q3 is launching, uh, Q4 is like gameplay, uh, and then Q1 throughout all of next year uh, is more stuff like public gameplay, addition of jockeys, uh, improving on the gameplay, um, uh, just do adding more features. Uh, they plan to have a lot more surprises and then just different types of races, etc. So definitely uh, check it out if you guys are interested. They kind of talk about the opportunity here. Not only is it NFTs, not only is it GameFi, not only is it like token with the utility. That's a lot of different things that are, are really going to keep you guys engaged for the long run. Of course, you're playing games because you want to make sure that you're being rewarded for stuff. So they kind of talk about um, that as well. As well, they really think of it as build, race, and earn, and play to earn, and play for fun, uh, because they really want to make sure that you guys are enjoying what you're doing, but also earning along the way. So that's definitely cool and, and kind of kind of cool uh, concept. So if you guys want to check out uh, that, you guys definitely can. They have a lot of uh, things going on with this. If you guys want to check out where. Um, utility of this uh, is and their monster Jason strategy you guys can they plan to do things like uh, sales of clothing and avatars staking and betting immersion runs of creatures advertising arenas uh, and of course during the races itself uh, they plan to do a lot of exciting things as well I haven't even touched on breeding and rentals uh, etc but uh, definitely exciting again like I said um, they have their race kingdom token the A to Z token uh, which is going to be listed on gate IO I'll put a link in the description up for that in the near future Future. Um, they are listed uh, in other places like Coin Market Cap. If you guys are interested in learning more about this, kind of the overall price of this, like I said, I do think that it's uh, there's a lot of excitement towards this. I do think that we are really in a point when there's projects out there that are going to have a lot of potential um, and as soon as, that are still early on. So uh, obviously, this being listed on Gate.io is going to really open up to more people, and you still have the chance to um, learn uh, about the opportunity. Uh, so definitely follow them on all their socials. I'll put that in the link as well. Um, they are going to be listing and launching their NFTs uh, in Q4 of this year. So again, you guys are going to have a lot of opportunity to be in this project uh, really early on. If you want to learn about the airdrop on Gate.io, you guys can uh, definitely check it out if you guys are interested. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this project. Definitely follow on Twitter for the latest information. Um, but that's Race Kingdom uh, and their token A to Z token, which is definitely uh, super uh, interesting. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep you guys uh, updated on this for a long run. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.